And so as we close this morning, a couple questions. First of all, how has God been generous to you? We've thought about Thanksgiving. We've thought about why we're thankful. But think about the generosity of God. How has God been generous to you? How has he showed you undeserved mercy and generosity? Have you revered him for it? Have you given him the honor that he is worth? Or have you turned those generous gifts into idols that you hold on to tightly and won't share? Or maybe into trophies that you think you've earned them and therefore you've become prideful. How has God been generous to you? Maybe the application of the message this morning is for you to to revere God, to give him the credit for what he's generously given to you. Number two, are you enjoying his generosity? Are you enjoying it? Are are you walking around feeling guilty for receiving the things that God has generously given to you? Or do you celebrate God because of it and enjoy it and say, God, thank you. I love this gift that you've given to me and and I'm not complaining of what I don't have. I am celebrating just basking in your generosity for what you've given to me. If you're not, maybe the application of the message is lighten up. Enjoy what God has given to you. And don't complain about what you don't have. Receive it all as something that is undeserved. It is God's gift. Are you enjoying it? Number three, are you sharing of his generosity? Are you sharing in tangible and material ways the things that God has generously given to you? Or do you hold things tightly, never being willing to share them? Are you sharing his generosity? Maybe the application of this message is for you to rethink where you got them. Rethink how you have them. It is because of the gracious hand of God. And so are you willing to share of his generosity? And most importantly in all of that, are you sharing the most generous gift that he's given to you? Are you sharing the gift of Jesus? Are you sharing with others the gospel that God has generously given his one and only son so that they might have life and an eternity of relationship with the Father? Are you sharing that? More than anything else, that's what God would want us to share with others. May we be a people who are known for sharing the gospel and the generosity of God.